Is it seriously the beginning of the month again? Ah, oh, crap. I guess I'd better go film my family budget and every dollar video. Oh, hey. When did you get here? I was just really excited about filming my family budget in every dollar video. And so you want to hang out and watch it? It's time for a new family budget in every dollar video. And today we're going over what we've got planned for next month. So get out your pencils because 20 bucks says I'm going to remember something you've forgotten. And yeah, wait, no. I don't have any $20 losing a bet on YouTube line items in my budget, so scratch that. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Today we are going over our family budget in every dollar, like we do at the beginning of every month. So I can remind you of the things that you might have forgotten. And sometimes you remind me, because it's happened before, not even joking, that I've forgotten stuff. And you're like, hey, where is dot dot dot? And then I put it in my budget. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump right in and go over our budget for next month. In our first category, we have our storage unit for $270. And yes, I have a legit reason for having a storage unit. It's a whole big long story, so I did a whole video on it. And I'm going to link that up in the eye in the sky if you want to check that out. Because if I don't link it, you ask. Everybody wants to know, why do you have a storage unit? Why would you pay so much money for a storage unit, Wendy? I get it. It makes sense. There's a reason. Watch. In our utilities category, we spend $170 for our cell phones. And yes, we were finally able to negotiate that back down to $170. So yay for a, you know, financial win there. And then we have another $25 for Skype. And in our food category, we have $500 for groceries. And that does include our subscription to Home Chef, which we are loving. They, I've, I've gone through about six, maybe seven of the meal delivery services. And we settled on Home Chef as being like the food that my family likes to eat. My personal favorite was plated, but it was a lot more prep work and the foods were a little bit different. Not everybody in my family has my palate. In fact, very few people in the world have the same palate I do. So, so we settled on Home Chef. It works out really well. And we have $40 in the budget for school bucks, which is Melina's lunches at school. And she generally buys her lunch at school one day a week and sometimes for breakfast. So that $40 could last a month. It could last two months. It really depends on how many days she buys at school. And then in transportation, we have $100 for gas, $70 for our easy pass, which is our local toll road system. And most months we don't use the easy pass. It's like every 90 days we get charged that, but I never know when we're going to get charged and when we're not. Cause sometimes I have to drive on the toll road a lot for work and sometimes I don't. So, you know, it's a random thing. So I'd rather have it in there than not. In insurance and tax, we have $219.81 for USAA car and renter's insurance, $91.65 for USAA life insurance for me, $12 for CMFG life insurance for Mauricio and I, and $35.83 for Xander's life insurance for Mauricio. Actually, is isn't really Xander. Xander was like the middleman, but I don't remember who the actual insurance policy is. So I just always call it Xander Life Insurance. And in our ever-growing health category, we have $90 for Mauricio's medication, $44.95 for Weight Watchers, $720 for the specialist that Melina has been going to, $75 for medication for Melina, $35 for a brand new specialist that she has been referred to, which is like a pediatric lung pulmonary doctor. So lots and lots and lots of health issues going on with Melina. And we're trying to figure out what's going on. And then $35 for Mauricio's neurologist. In our savings category, we are saving a lot. We've got $1,000 for our trip to Columbia in April, 
$200 for summer camp, which we will be paying for hopefully in February, $150 for medical sinking fund, $100 for our car repair replace sinking fund, $300 for our Christmas sinking fund, $100 for an emergency trip to Columbia should something happen down there and Mauricio needs to go down there immediately. $50 for miscellaneous school expenses for Melina because we just hemorrhage money at the beginning of the school year. So just having a little pool of money there is awesome. We are not saving for our emergency fund because that is fully funded. Well, our baby emergency fund is fully funded. And then our work travel sinking fund that has been fully funded. I did use that for my trip to Belgium, but I am in the process of getting reimbursed for that. And when I get that money in, I will pile that money into the work travel fund. So I really shouldn't ever have to save for that again, unless I know I'm going to be taking like a huge trip where I need to have like $2,000 available to spend for the trip. But Hopefully the thousand dollars should be plenty. I mean, my trip to Belgium, I think I spent like four hundred dollars out of that money because I do have a government credit card which I use for my hotel and my airline, so I don't have to worry about that. In the lifestyle, personal, and recreation category, we have thirty-five ninety-six for iTunes, fourteen ninety-five for Audible, and three ninety-nine for Amazon Music. In the Melina category, we have $608 for before and after care, $99 for swimming lessons, $280 for Spanish lessons, $25 for miscellaneous school expenses, and $25 for Girl Scout cookies because it's Girl Scout season. And if you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies, I'll put a link to Melina's page below. You can just order them and they'll ship them directly to you. That's just for all you who maybe don't have any kids in your lives that you're obligated to order Girl Scout cookies for, and you want some Thin Mints or some Tagalongs. Tagalongs are my favorite. Other people like Thin Mints. I've never been a fan of mint and chocolate together, but lots of people love them. In the cash category, this month we have very little in the cash category. We are trying to, you know, get as much debt paid off as quickly as possible. So we are cutting down where we can cut down. So we have $200 for blow money and $25 for a haircut for Mauricio. In the YouTube category, we have $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $9 for Morning Fame, and $140 for the annual fee for my post office box. So make it worth it for me and send me some mail. I will write you back. It may take a year, but I will actually do it. <laughs> In fact, I just sent out a bunch of letters. Um, so hopefully some of you will be you know, getting, getting letters from me. In the work expenses category, we have $22 for parking for Mauricio. He has not used it, but I want to have it in there just in case he needs it. In our online shopping category, which is new, but not really. It's just I decided to divvy out some of the categories. So I created a impulse online shopping category, shall we say, or just an online shopping category. It's not all impulse. And so I put a hundred dollars in there because, you know, stuff comes up and then I have another $88 in there for a undergarment of the female support type. Um, what happened last month, you'll see, I went to buy some, I had issues, mine are falling apart. Y'all have been following me. Those of you who have been following me for almost three years now know that I have yet to buy underwear <laughs> the entire time we've been on this process. And um, actually that's not true. I think one Christmas my mother gave me a gift card and I did buy a, <laughs> a, a bra and underwear for that um, with that gift card. So this is very awkward talking about. I'm not sure I'm going to put this in. <laughs> anyway, so I went, I decided I have one brand that I always buy because they fit me perfectly. No matter what size I am, you know, big, medium, small, whatever, they always fit me perfectly. And so I've always bought the same brand, always. And I rarely deviate from it, but it's expensive. And this time I said, you know what? I'm going to try Target. I'm just going to buy a bunch and then I'll keep a couple and return the rest. And I tried them all and none of them fit. 
they all were like saggy and uh, it did not work out. So I took them all back and I put $88 in the budget to order for next month. That's just one. At Target, I would have, for that price, I would have had like three or four. But you get what you pay for sometimes. At least in this particular situation, it's worth the money because like I said, I I very rarely buy these things. So I they need to fit well because they're gonna stay around for a while. And then in our cushion category, we have another $100 because again, stuff's gonna come up and we wanna have that money in there. And then we have $150 in there for fantasy football for Mauricio, and he lost again. Not at all shocking. I keep telling him I would pick a better fantasy football team than he does, but he doesn't listen, so at least it's in the budget, right? And this month, we are putting $3,203.38 to debt. So I bet you're wondering why we're putting so much less to debt right now. I mean, in the past, it was like 5000 to 7000 a month, depending on the expenses we had during the month. But since September, it's been significantly lower we're averaging way less but we finally got back on track in december why are we satisfied with three to four thousand dollars anymore i mean we were paying this now we're paying this so why would that be okay for us so as it turns out we have priorities right now that are superseding debt payoff and we are intelligent enough to know that we need to focus where our priorities are and our money needs to go where our priorities lie. And so there are currently three things that we are consciously moving money away from the debt payoff to pay. And I've been talking about them, but I haven't really focused on the fact that they are higher priority than debt payoff. So those three things are the health category, the savings category, and the Molina category. And let me go over those real quick. So the health category is predominantly Molina. We have, we're averaging, you know, 750 to 800 a month on Molina's health. And there is nothing, nothing more important to me than her health. Fortunately, the doctor that she was just referred to, the, the pediatric lung uh, pulmonary doctor, is in network so we should be getting reimbursed for that but her other doctor is out of our network so we're only getting like something like 25 percent of what we're paying out for that so a lot of that is coming from debt payoff which is unfortunate but still my daughter's health is going to be our number one priority the next one is a trip to columbia oh my goodness i just did the math and it's been like no joke, like it'll, by the time we go to Columbia, it'll be 30 months since we have gone down to Columbia to see Mauricio's family. And we have decided that we need to do that. We need to make it a priority to go visit his family. And so we are going to go in April and we are saving a thousand dollars a month to do that through April. And then it come April, we won't have to save that money anymore. And then the last one is between 210 and 280 a month for Melina's Spanish lessons. And that falls under the priority of Melina needs to learn to communicate with her grandparents. And we have tried. We have tried desperately to teach her Spanish and we have failed miserably. So we brought in a professional and it has helped immensely. She is already speaking in full sentences and she is trying very hard and she really, really enjoys it. So it is very much worth it to us. But if you total those three, three things up, 720, 280, and 1,000, that equals $2,000. And that's why we are setting the bar a little bit lower. Yes, it is going to take longer to pay off our debt. But again, we have always been very clear that we will not change our lives completely. We are not the beans and rice family. We don't want to be the beans and rice family. We want to be debt-free and we will not have debt again. But we are not going to sacrifice as much as everybody else will to get there. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.